Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be starting off on my new project of building an arcade from scratch. It's going to be a PC build. So I just wanted to run through just how I came to envisage it, what I was thinking and my thoughts behind it, how I started off with the design, ultimately finishing the design of what I want before I go and move forward with it. And just to show you a couple of the parts, obviously I've never built a PC from scratch, so this will be the first time that I've built an arcade from scratch and also a PC build from scratch. I will document it fully uh, from start to finish. This is going to be the first video in a long, process it's probably going to take me about at least a month maybe a month and a half to successfully complete it i'll try and do it as quick as i can it will be quite cost effective the pc build itself is not going to be as expensive as if i was going to go out there and buy a complete tower for like four thousand pounds worth of high-end pc parts in a tower and you pay a ridiculous amount of money so what i've done is try to go for a mid-range tier system and hopefully get some really really good performance so first off i'll just show you quickly just that i did do a community post uh, sketching this out but i've done numerous different designs so as we look so i first started off with just a basic little sketch of just showing what my ideas and thoughts were. This time it's going to be a bar top. It's going to be quite big. It's not going to be a very, very small bar top, but it is going to have enough room to be separated from the screen itself. So I did start off with a vision of a 42 inch, but I'm actually gonna go for a 55 inch. Uh, I will actually go for a trackball in the middle as well. But this is the basic design, speakers on the side, little tweeters on the top, 42 inch screen, USB uh, times two with an amplifier at the front, some side buttons uh, just to make sure that I can, you know, possibly just put on there pinball games. And then obviously, you know, you have them like a traditional pinball. So moving over to the other side, this is the side profile. There will be a big distance between this. It's not, it's not very easy to show or explain just the distance of it. But once I build it, you will then see that the standing distance here, so with the arms extended forward, so your head will be around about here, your body will be standing up there, and then your arms will be diagonal there. So, you know, you're gonna have a good distance between the actual screen itself. So I'm going for the 55 inch uh, IPS LED TV. So on the back, you'll see that the speakers are put onto the side. We'll have a subwoofer built inside. Now, originally I was just going to put the motherboard on the side of the unit itself with the power supply. But what I'm gonna actually do is now I've changed. I'm actually going to include a tower in the back of the system itself. And where the tempered glass is, where you can see all the guts and glory of the unit itself, will be then protruding and flush. Yeah, a little bit protruding out, a little bit flush with the back panel itself. And then you will be able to have access by just undoing the screws. And then we'll have maybe two, maybe three hinges. And then the panel itself will be able to be lifted up so I can get into the back of it itself. So again, just we're situated with the motherboard, but obviously I'm going to go with the tower. And then I did some other designs uh, just to see. And obviously I'm going to build it myself, all the wood myself. So I wanted to make sure that I can design it myself as well. So my thought process behind it was, that was the basic image, basic sketch out of what roughly I wanted the machine to look like. Then obviously I wanted to put my own spin on it and obviously the last one that I did, which was the arcade one-up mod with the Raspberry Pi 4. Really happy with that build. It took a while, but I'm very, very happy with it. I did do some modifications for the wood and putting the screen in. I put the 28 inch IPS monitor in there. Works out absolutely fantastic. I know a lot of people were 50-50 on how it looks, but trust me guys, it works really, really well. So this time I didn't want to stand up. I want a bar top so it can be situated on a desk downstairs and just so I can have access to it. I wanted the PC build just so I could put like hyperspin on there 
and just have absolutely everything running on it for every single system from Wii U to Switch to PC games, literally absolutely everything. So here is the final design that I chose. I think that it, I kept it as minimalistic as possible. Um, the gold around where the speaker is going to be on the side is obviously situated as a gold ring. That I will be spray painting it. I'll be doing an undercoat of grey, a couple of undercoats of grey, and then I'll be spraying it blue. I'll then be uh, using stencils, drawing out stencils, making stencils, and then to put in the actual effect and use the spray paint just so it looks absolutely incredible and then you can get some special lacquer spray which will spray over it which puts a nice shine on it and it will have a lovely finish i think it's going to look really really nice the side panel itself is going to be blue with obviously the spray painted graphics on it on the side and then on the front panel here it will be white but i'm going to have a marquee a glowing marquee and this will be white and then this will be blue on the bottom so that'll look really really nice i think i'd love to know what you think guys if there is absolutely anything that you think may help or you know if you have any ideas yourself on this build moving forward then please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments um, your thoughts and also if you have any ideas that you know may help improve it slightly as well so that's the start of the design i've ordered the wood so i will be starting that at some point neither the end of this week or the beginning of next week i will show the process of me drawing it out setting up the templates and then cutting all the wood out itself to do the build this is really just to see the start of the process i thought it might be interesting for a few of you guys um, just to see, because I know a couple of comments through the community post were saying that you guys want to build an arcade from scratch yourself, um, which is really, really fantastic. And, you know, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So this was the final build of my uh, arcade one up. I don't think I've showed it off in a video yet itself. I also went for a rubber ducky Sonic on there as well. But obviously these are to hold the control pads because obviously the likes of PSP doesn't go through the arcade sticks. So, you know, this is where I place, yeah, place my Xbox controllers on both sides. So we can play two players on say Tekken 6 and so forth. So that looks really, really nice. You know, obviously I've got the detailed graphics Along the side, Sonic Graphics looks really, really, really nice. Excuse my sandals. So I went with the 28 inch monitor, which was really, really cool, I thought. I have my Wi-Fi keypad, so if I need to get into any settings or go into the BIOS itself and change a few things on the Raspberry Pi, it's easy, accessible through a Wi-Fi dongle, very restricted in the way of placement of the buttons because of yeah lack of room should i say i also changed out the balls on the end of the joysticks to make sure that it was compatible with everything i went with two massive huge speakers i also went with putting if you can see that i can't see it the way it is there but i also included the amp in the front so it's accessible to change the volume and have access that at the front also i on the side i also have access to the power on and off i don't know if you can see that there but i have options to do uh, power on and off at the side instead of the back with the raspberry pi which is really, really nice. So everything I can turn everything off without moving the arcade itself, which is really, really cool. If you want to see a video of the performance of a breakdown of all the emulators, I'll just quickly run through. So the Sega Master System, Genesis, Game Gear, uh, Sega Mega CD, Sega 32X, Dreamcast, Naomi, uh, Sinclair Spectrum. I don't know how many games there, 1,219 Spectrum games. Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, PlayStation, PSP, we've got all the arcades, Final Bear Neo, 
I think there's over 2,000 of that. 2,683 games. But that's also the hard to run arcade games, which obviously don't play on the Raspberry Pi 4. Sadly, just not powerful enough, but also I'll be using them when I use the PC build and then they will work. So we have main Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, Lynx, Commodore, MSX, Turbo Graphics, Game & Watch, Nintendo, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, N64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Beats of Rage, Ports, um, Atmos Wave. Yeah, so as you can see, there's an absolute ton. And I think in total games on here, I think it's 17,000, I think. Yeah, 17,300 games. So yeah, overall guys, I just absolutely love this. I, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed building it. It was a challenge, but it was a good one. I was happy with how it all turned out. I'm happy with the performance. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So let's turn the music down on this because it's going to be annoying. But let's have it in the background. Okay, so the parts that have arrived so far, really, really excited. So I went with the Ryzen third generation processor. It is uh, Gen 4 ready also, which is pretty cool. So I went with the Ryzen, AMD Ryzen, Ryzen 5 3600. I don't know if uh, you can see that there. So it went sealed, it wasn't too bad. There was actually a sale, I got it for 180 pound. So this itself was 180 pounds. I also then went with the motherboard. I went with the Rogue Strix B450 F Gaming. So I don't know if you can see, but it's also AMD uh, compatible as well, because obviously everything has to be compatible. And I also have uh, arriving tomorrow should be the Sapphire RX 580, uh, which is also AMD. It's really, really good. It's a, it's, a, it's quite a mid-range GPU, but it's incredibly powerful. Um, it runs all of PlayStation 4 era and Xbox X powered games quite well. It runs Assassin's Creed Valhalla at maybe 70 frames per second. It's a really powerful uh, system that I'll be building but it should hopefully be incredibly cheap. Without further ado, let's just jump in and do a bit of unboxing of the start of the journey of my arcade from scratch build. Yeah, love to know in the comments, guys, what you think. Are you excited to see how this all turns out? Any thoughts? Are you doing it yourself? You know, will you be doing a build yourself from scratch? Okay, so using a knife to open it. So what do we get in the box? So this uh, should be the fan and the cooling element that you get for it. So inside the box you get some leaflets, installation and instructions. So here we have the Ryzen chip itself. It looks very nice. AMD Ryzen 5 3600. There we go. So if we open it. It is a beautiful looking chip. Although it's hard to read the text because it's so shiny. Yep, so that is the chip itself. So in here, we should have the cooling system. So 
things from the top. Okay. <coughs> so as you can see, it has a massive fan. Pretty cool. It has a huge heat sink on the bottom with some thermal paste on there, which I didn't realize. So be careful if you get one, guys. I actually smudged it. We've got the brackets that obviously go into mounting it onto the chip itself on the motherboard. And then we have the power supply, which we'll plug in to make sure that it runs. Now, I'm not too sure with this being the actual stock fan whether it's noisy whether it's good i'm not too sure as i've never built a pc before so maybe i'll be looking into swapping it down the line maybe put in some cooling um system in there maybe i'm not too sure let me know in the comments guys if um this is quite good if you actually have the ryzen 5 uh, 3600 uh, and that you're you know what is the performance like with the actual heatsink and the fan that you get with it from AMD. I would love to know, but that's pretty cool. Just be careful with the thermal paste. Okay, so as I say, this is the motherboard that I went for, which is pretty cool. It was quite cheap. I think I got it for 110 pound. Uh, it should have been 150, but obviously there was a little bit of a sale to go on, so I literally got some great support. So on the back, I don't know if you can see that, guys, but I, I won't read them all out because there's so much to read. But I'll just glance it over just so that you know itself what it entails. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read it. Okay, so let's get into opening this bad boy and see what it's like. Okay, so it comes incredibly well packaged. It looks like it's vacuum sealed maybe. So this panel itself inside at the bottom. So we have a pretty thick instruction manual. Uh, we have understand style of your gaming rig. So don't know what that's about, but we'll open that in a moment. Um, obviously, this is a disc for drivers, maybe. Not too sure. Then we have a pretty thick manual on probably operating systems, cable management, um, placements of M MV.2 uh, SSD SATA drives, where the power uh, distribution goes and what cables to go where. Obviously distributing and also including fans, whether you have halo fans with the tower that you have. Uh, managing and mounting the CPU, the fans, which is pretty cool, which is always handy when you're building your own PC. So that's really nice. We have like a door to go on your door handle. Game on. You shall not pass. I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, what's this? Just uh, help with numbers and so forth if you have run into any problems. We have some cable ties for cable management. Uh, we also have some 
connections for fans maybe and power outlet cables we have some screws and some little tiny screws I don't know what they're for but I'm sure I will find out uh, maybe these are for SATA cables and data cables not too sure yet but you just get quite a lot of cables which is quite nice a couple more screws not too sure what they're for but I'm sure when I read the manuals I will find out um, we have another leaflet here I think these are transfers and stickers nice it's not that I'll use them it comes with a warranty another manual on the motherboard itself also another manual safety information and I thank you for purchasing the Rogue Strix products you've made the choice of champions well let's hope we have so that's it in the box let's put everything back in and let's actually have a little look at what this little thing was I don't know what's inside but we'll have a look sure what this is it's like a sticker I think maybe it goes on the motherboard itself it's just to state what it is itself a little sticker to go on there maybe who knows okay so the motherboard itself is quite beefy so let's open it up Okay, so these are all the ports that it comes with. Obviously, once I have the graphics card in there, I won't be using it off here. I'll be using it off the graphics card for the HDMI. But we have all the audios and components, which is nice. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven USBs. We have a Type C, which is always nice. Ethernet cable. I will be using uh, Wi Fi with this. So, this is the motherboard itself. So obviously these slots here will be where the graphics card goes or some recording equipment like Elgato and so forth. There is two slots for MME, which is pretty cool. So we can have two in there. That is where the CPU goes, which is pretty cool. Can't wait to get it all installed. So where the RAM goes over here, all the power outlets on the back and on the side here where the connections are. So overall I'm really happy with the motherboard, the size of the motherboard and obviously the motherboard itself. Uh, really really looking forward to build this PC. Let's have a little look on the back. Okay. I will be putting this in a tower, guys, as I say. Yeah, pretty cool. Really excited to start this, guys. So this is the start of the journey. I just thought I'd let you know what my thoughts were, what I'm going to be using, 
for the PC build and also what my design was for the arcade unit itself. Please hit the like button if you like. Please share with your social medias. And as I say, guys, if you want to follow this step-by-step -step process, I will be doing lots more videos. Uh, the next one that I'll do will be the installation of the GPU, CPU, the RAM, and then obviously I'll be working on the arcade itself by cutting out each part and then doing a rough assembly and then breaking it down again, making sure that it all fits, then taking it all down again, and then I'll be spray painting it, making sure that it looks nice and shiny for when it's done. Yeah, really, really excited. Can't wait. I'm also going to be using, hopefully, uh, he hasn't got back to me yet, but I will be using Sharecade, uh, 11 terabyte hyperspin. So that'll be absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen the arcades that that gentleman does then please check out sharecade.com and also sharecade on youtube i will leave links in the description if you want to check out some fantastic builds this is the guy that really gave me motivation to do what i'm doing i used his graphic design uh, his graphics for the arcade one up and it looks absolutely incredible this time around i'll be designing and painting my own graphics on the side of the arcade but yeah really really hope you're as excited as me guys and as always take care